welcome to lesson 68 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Web VBA with the Geoforce IT Service Academy. In lesson 67, we were able to assign the conditional formatting that can be able to help us to determine students that comes into the school and go or students that are no longer existing in the school and also teachers that were transferred from the school. So in this lesson 68, we are going to learn how to assign conditional formatting to the teacher's MS detail sheet so that we can be able to identify teachers that were transferred from the school or teachers that are no longer existing in our school. So if you are meeting me for the first time or if you are watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family members. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for all as we upload more videos on how to create a school management system and as we upload more educative contents onto this wonderful channel. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to work on the hide and show tools as well so that it can help us to hide some aspect of our system from our users and also help us to show some aspect of our systems to the users. So without wasting much time, let's meet in class. Let's quickly dive right into today's lesson by clicking on check teachers image data here. When we click on it, it should be able to take us to the teachers image data sheet here. So we are working with the qualification here. We are working with the qualification. So what we are going to do is to select the entire table. We have to select the entire table from here to the last section, sorry, here to the signature section. So let's move it to this side. Good. So after selecting the whole table like that or the whole sheet like that, what we need to do is to scroll to the top here. Let's scroll to the top here like this so that we can be able to get the column ID or the column head for the qualification, the column head for the qualification. So the qualification here is in column F and the details of the first teacher is going to be on row two. So the name of this particular uh, section here is going to be f2 so that is what we are going to do so let's quickly go to home click on home let's click on conditional formatting then we come to new rule click on it then we come to this side here use formula to determine which cell to format so let's click on that one then we click on equal to then we press and hold shift on the computer keyboard then we press the dollar sign. We, we, we click on the key containing the dollar sign. So the qualification is in column F. So F, sorry, it's supposed to be in capital letters. So F2 here. Then we bring our equal to sign. Then we bring our inverted commas like this. Then the statement is no more in school. No more in school no more in school that is the statement so we have to bring the final inverted commas here like this then we click on format here let's click on format here then we come to the font color here let's click on the drop down then we select black like that then we come to the background color which is fill then we select red like this. So when we click on OK, we should be able to see something like this. This is how it is going to appear in the system. So let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. Then let's come to the qualification section. Then let's type no more in school. And let's see what is going to happen. Good. So please have you seen that? The whole column is being highlighted. It's been highlighted. The details of that teacher is being highlighted. So that alone is telling us that the teacher is no longer existing in the school. 
So the next thing that we are going to do is to click on home. But before we go to that side, please don't forget to save your work. Control S, then click on OK here to save your work. Always Control S to save your work. Control S to save your work. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do is to go to the home page. So let's click on the home button here. Then we go to the home page. Good. So now we are going to insert formulas that can help us to hide all these column heads, all these icons, all these tabs here. The formula that can help us to hide all the tabs here is what we are coming to work on. All the page numbering and all those things, all the, the vertical rule and the horizontal rules. We are going to insert formulas to hide all those things. So what we are going to do is to go to developer here. Then we come to visual basic here. Let's enlarge it or let's maximize that particular section. Let's maximize it. Then we come to insert. Then model like this. So I already have the codes that I'm going to copy and paste here. So in case you need this particular code, please WhatsApp the numbers appearing on your screen so that I can give you the codes that can help you to hide and show tools. So let me quickly uh, minimize these ones here. Let me quickly minimize them. Then I go for the codes that can help me to hide and show tools. So my VB codes here. Then we come to hide and show tools like this. Open it. Then Control A to select or Control C to copy. Then I minimize it again. I'll now go to this side here to maximize it like this. Then Control V to paste. So I have my hide codes here. So let me just save it. Control S to save this work. Good. So let me just close this one here. Let me close it. Then I'll go back to insert again. Insert a new model. Then I'll go back to my codes again. Then I'll open the show codes. So control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Then we move to this section here to paste it. So control V to paste. Then control S to save your work. Always control S to save your work. All right. So now that we are done with that one let's quickly go back to our school management system software again here like this so let's click on hide tools let's right click on the hide tools sorry let's right click on the hide tools then we click on assign macro so the name of that particular macro is hide is hide so click on hide then we click on okay good so when we click on hide it should be able to hide the details for us it should be able to hide all the sheets that are appearing at the bottom here but these ones will still remain there is a setting that we will do on those ones then we can be able to hide them as well so now let's right click on the show tools here then let's assign a macro the name of that particular macro is show. So click on it and click on OK. So when we click on the show, we should be able to get all the tabs back. We should be able to get everything that has disappeared back. So that is how we hide and show tools. You hide like this, you show. You hide, you show. So when you hide and show tools like this, and somebody have access to your system the person will not be able to identify that you use microsoft excel to develop this particular system good so how can we hide these sections here so let's quickly select everything like this when we select everything like that then we come to view tab let's come to view tab then we click on the heading here so they are already ticked so let's make sure that we remove that particular sign there then the formula bar we take that one two off then the the grid lines 
the grid lines we take them off so let's see what is going to happen here so please have you seen that we cannot see those things there except the tabs here so let's click on hide tools good so if somebody have access to your system like this the person can never know that the system was developed with excel with this one appearing on the top here too we are going to work on that one too we are going to work on how we can be able to hide that particular excel icon there so that when people have access to the system they can never know that the system was built with microsoft excel so that is how we hide and show tools in our school management system so in the next lesson we are going to learn how to design the login page we are going to learn how to design the login page and the codes that we insert into the login page so that we can be able to log into our system with password then we proceed to the next level so thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you share the video with your friends and family members to also benefit from us so let's meet in lesson 69 for that interesting part of the lesson thank you very much bye bye